Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time. Still on with the rhetorical synthesis because I'm giving you guys every single time-saving pattern. So, as always, we're not going to read all of these bullet points, right? So, what are we going to do? Go straight to the question, present the study's findings. That's level one of this video. We are doing the findings video, but to give you guys more bang for your buck, you guys want to save time. That's why you're watching these, right? The other topic I'm also going to cover here is audience that is familiar. So that's going to be it, okay? And as always, guys, go to thesatcrashcourse.com. Use my code STUDYJ, all caps, to save 20% on practice tests. Why? Because all these patterns are in the tests. I know, because I checked every single question. It took so many hours, okay? So please um, go for it and get the best help you need, which is from me and then the SAT crash course. Me first, though. I'm more important. Anyway, so let's get this pattern. I want to present the study's findings. So with the rhetorical synthesis, I want to clarify, am I looking for something that is before the experiment, during the experiment, or after the experiment? The findings, or the results, or the conclusions, as you guys might guess, after the experiment, okay? So this is what they found out. This is the result. This is the data. This is the conclusion. Whatever synonym you want to call it. So any of those synonyms, take any of them in your head, look in the notes. Look, not the notes. Don't look at the notes. I'm going to cross that out, actually. I really don't want to read those. Look at the answer choices. Which one of these, then, has the findings? Let's see. This has the findings, right? They were likely. That seems like a result. Okay. This one does not. This, again, would go into the methodology question. Can I spell methodology? Yes, I can. Good job, me. Yeah. So that is what happens during the experiment, not in the scope of this question. So then here, researchers found that, oh, that also works. Okay. And then D, honestly, guys, if the answer choice is this short on a rhetorical synthesis, you can feel pretty safe crossing it out. But you may, okay, isn't that kind of a finding, though, Jay? Okay, we'll keep it. So notice here, we were only able to get rid of one answer choice. Does that mean I'm going to make you guys read the notes? No, I already crossed it out, right? Like, I'll cross it out anymore. <laughs> so then how do I do this? Number one, if I am guessing, normally in the rhetorical synthesis, I go with the longest one, right? But there is a reason I highlight it from the beginning. And this is a double video, familiar audience. And I do know I have done a video on familiar audience, but this video is better because I'm always improving, because I'm always studying, study J. So let's look here. Let's compare A and C, OK? Because D, that's so little detail. Gas giants were likely to contain heat-absorbing materials when they featured a layer of atmosphere warmer than the layer beneath it, researchers found. That's great, actually. That is a finding. That's really, really, really good. And you guys know my pattern, right? If I'm talking it up, it probably means there's a trap coming after, or this is a trap. This phenomenon is known as thermal inversion. I was literally told in the question, the audience already knows thermal inversion. I don't need to define it here, right? Just like in this video, I don't need to define for you guys what is the SAT. You guys already know what that is. So that is thus out, okay? And a very good trap here because the rhetorical synthesis, the pattern is typically the longest answer. It's like really likely to be the answer. But not the case here, because audience already familiar with, so they will put in the trap in which the first half, as usual, does the thing that they ask for. And then the second half, as usual, makes it wrong. In this case, I don't need to explain what this is if they already know. Therefore, thus, hence, just working on your transitions as well, the answer here is C. Because this has that information of what they found, literally the word found, and doesn't have that definition, which is unnecessary. And also, 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 answer choice D, now that we look at it, does it have a synonym for findings or found? No. I would need something like concluded, discovered, saw, observed. I don't have any of those. So therefore, D is doubly terrible. Not only is it too short, it also doesn't have those synonyms. So to summarize, number one, I just look for the words that have finding or some synonym. And number two, the double layer again, if I'm presenting to an audience already familiar, which is a pretty common pattern, I don't need to be defining the thing that the audience is familiar with. Like, very unnecessary, okay? Don't do the unnecessary things. So our answer here is C, again and again and again, rhetorical synthesis, I don't have to read the words. I'm very happy I don't have to read those, because those are not very fun to read, okay? So rhetorical synthesis, we're almost done with these, okay? Just a couple more topics on it, and you guys will be done with them forever, okay? I promise. 
So study every day with who? Se with Sexy J. That's me. You guys know. Bye-bye. <laughs>